Welcome to the Deep Connect Show, the place to help you feel deeply connected to yourself, your desires, and in your relationships. I'm your host, Rachel. In previous episodes, I brought you the experts in love, dating, relationships, and communication. We looked inside our bathroom drawers and I revealed my intimates to you. We discussed social media and the impacts it had on connecting deeper with our lives. We also discussed one of my favorite ways to deeply connect with my life, cooking, where I discuss the importance of making food, meals, and cooking a part of your self-care practice. Today, I answer the question why I created the Deep Connect Show and why myself or anyone would want to connect deeply with themselves, their desires, or in their relationships. Living your life with the intent of feeling deeply connected turns it into a purposefully created experience versus living life in obligation or in ruts. Deep Connect is a communication style which infuses areas of your life like body image, sex, friends, work, and romance with sexy hot possibilities. It's a fact. Everyone who feels deeply connected to their life reports feelings of fulfillment, peace, immense pleasure, gratitude, success, and deep satisfaction. Deep connection allows the adventurous, free spirit, alluring side of you to safely make a premiere, curiously questioning your everyday routine and inspires possibility of creating more of what you want. Deep connection means you never have to blame anyone else for anything again. Yes, that is a benefit. <laughs> Deep connection makes you feel like the sexiest person on the planet. It makes you more money and inspires you to eat healthy and move your body. It nourishes trauma and limiting beliefs standing in the way of what gives you freedom. It is the eradication and peace you've been looking for. These are the benefits of deep connection in your life, all highlighted here in my shows and in my books. But if the benefits are so amazing, why isn't everyone doing it? The simple answer, deeply connecting brings up some really deep emotional issues sometimes and triggers what doesn't always look like kittens and rainbows. Sometimes it gets downright unbearable and it feels like an emotional meat grinder. Deeply connecting with who we really are and what we really desire on a very deep level will change day-to-day -day habits. Eliminate excuses you've been snuggling with your entire life and unravel stories that you've been telling yourself, which been, you've invested a ton of energy in believing that perhaps just aren't true. Ouch. To the human experience, this is terrifying since we use the familiar to ensure a homeostasis in our bodies. In other words, the human experience defaults to choose the familiar, regardless of how bad it feels just to avoid the unknown, even if the unknown is for our magical happiness. But here's the million dollar piece of information I hope you get if you get nothing else from this episode. There is a way to deeply connect with yourself, your desires, and your relationships that does not have to turn your world upside down. It can be fun, nurturing, gentle, gradual, and feel really good. Changes can be as simple and non-threatening as breath, cooking, or sleeping. Stick with me and I'll share the best secrets from the most amazing experts to help you. So what exactly does going deep mean when connecting? Well, deep connection is being curious emotionally and physically with yourself and other people. It's a way of communication with ourselves and our outer world that brings a higher satisfaction and fulfillment level. We seek it because it actually releases endorphins, attuning us to our highest vibration to achieve optimal levels of success and satisfaction. Deep connection is about having an inner dialogue with yourself. When we feel deeply connected to our work, purpose, dreams, body, our partners, our children, a biological basic fundamental need is met on such a deep level that what we thought was once really important to us 
all of a sudden transmutes and reveals to what is truly, uniquely important to us. For example, it's thinking we want more money, a promotion, or weight loss, only to discover the real desire is for free time, love, or to just really feel rocking in your body. In short, deep connection will laser focus you down to your personal unique essence, your personal unique desires, your personal unique purpose that no one else on this planet has. This is why deep connection is so important. Because without you being deeply connected with your natural born gifts and talents, the world is without what only you have to offer. That's sad. <laughs> so how do I know if deep connection is for me? Well, let's take the quiz. Pay attention to which answers may be true for you. Are you ready? I have a good life, but something seems to be missing. I have desires and dreams that I'm sick of putting on the back burner. Or do you ever say, I'd like to be united with my soulmate? Or how about, I'm feeling stuck in at least one area of my life. I want to feel better about my body. Or have you ever said, I want to be healthier? Well, if you answered yes to just one of these statements, deep connection for, is for you, and it's the answer that you've been waiting for. But to help make the concept of connection real for you in your life, let's talk about it in a tangible way so you can start using it today. So can we just talk about small talk, shall we? <laughs> the nemesis of deep connection. We use small talk, especially when meeting someone new, mostly because we're nervous and we're looking for something to make us more comfortable. However, small talk actually has become an epidemic. It's actually preventing us from getting to know anything about each other. And you know what I'm talking about when I say small talk. These questions, they go something like this. How are you? What do you do? How about those Mets? How are the kids? Do you live around here? These are great and fine questions, but if you're looking for something different in your life, you may have to try something different. So why not start with small talk? Comparatively, let me give you a quick point of reference into what deep talk looks like. How about this? Instead of, hi, how are you? Hi, what's real for you right now? Or what adventures have you been up to lately? Or how about, it's nice to meet you. You have great eye contact. Or one of my favorites, I love your shoes. Can you see and feel the difference between these two types of questions? It may not seem like a big deal. However, if you are interested in a higher quality of life, these small ways of shifting how you relate to yourself and others, it will help you to get more of what you want. Now let's dive just a little deeper into what you'd want to have. By exploring some of the consequences of small talk, some of the consequences of small talk that you may not be aware of is, it takes a longer period of time to find a point of connection that's memorable. And in sales, this is deadly. In friendships, it can feel really isolating. So those predictable questions like, hi, how are you? It desensitizes us from knowing how we're actually feeling, right? Have you ever noticed um, how people with the same standard answer and it feels like no one is answering how they really feel? Small talk also prevents us from getting to know our family members and knowing and loving who we really are to each other. The third consequence is deep connection is different from your everyday social normatives and experiences. Many people think that deep connection is just like this new age, metaphysical, heart-to-heart, eye-gazing experience, completely impractical to the real world. But this couldn't be further from the truth. I actually started deep talking in the corporate field long before I started folding it into my personal life. Why? Well, because I started to realize I started enjoying my job more 
when I made that shift and I started standing out because of it. And being in sales and marketing for almost two decades, that meant cha-ching. <laughs> I once closed a $150,000 deal completely out of the blue, first time meeting a customer because I used Deep Talk. Because I asked her the question, what's real for you right now in your life? Instead of asking her, hi, how are you? So we started off our relationship on a very personal level and we act as, acted as if we were high school girlfriends. I suddenly realized that deep connection was like a cash cow for business and it made my job so much more pleasurable and effective. I quickly made a name for myself as the customer connector and was sent into multi-million dollar accounts to gain customer loyalty with one introduction. Deep connection is for deep, your deep connection, personal and professional life. It's a super fast, tangible, money-making, marriage-saving, sexy body feeling, giving you laser eagle eye focus on your purpose and mission here on this planet. No other tool is more effective in experiencing an enthralling life. Great, you say. So how can I get started with connecting deeper in my life today, like now? I'm ready to take on the vulnerabilities, the weirdness, the unknown, and a little emotional discomfort, all in the name of deep connection. Let's go. Okay, let me give you some super simple tips to start deeply connecting now. First, you can always start by taking a deep breath and asking yourself silently, what is real for me right now? Now you don't have to necessarily do anything with the answer, but just listen with no agenda and no judgment. Second point of advice is eye contact. Just make more eye contact. It's amazing. It may feel weird at first, but I promise you that it gets easier the more you do it. Thirdly, when someone asks you, how are you today? Consider a different answer besides good that's true for you. Now, I always say grateful because that means I don't necessarily have to be in a good mood or a bad mood, but I can always be grateful because that means that I don't have to be insincere and say something I don't mean. And it totally interrupts the pattern of small talk and allows something more meaningful to emerge. So if you start using these three tips that I just went over with you, you will immediately begin to start feeling super connected with yourself. Okay, so at first you might feel a little weird before you start feeling deeply connected, but I can assure you that over the weird rainbow is a pot of deeply connected gold. <laughs> Now, if you're really serious about life fulfillment and purpose and love beyond your wildest dreams, I highly encourage you to attend a workshop that appeals to you. Definitely hire a coach. Keep reading those books, and you can always contact me if you need references to any of those things or recommendations. So I want to thank you for taking the time and tuning in to this episode of Deep Connect. Look forward to more shows on ways to deeply connect with yourself, your desires, and in your relationships. I'm your host, Rachel, and I will see you on the deep side.